was actually to answer some of the really big questions of, of how Australia got to be where it is and why the Pacific is the way it is in terms of plate tectonics. But um, during the course of that, um, Dr. Maria Seaton, our chief scientist, noticed that on the, on the path that we were taking, there was this very unusual island. And uh, essentially, it was on all the Google Earth maps and it's on all the weather charts. And um, it comes from what we call the, the World Vector Coastline Database. And we could see it there. But when you zoom in on it, it was just a black blob. So Google had no photos from it. And it was just this sort of slit in the earth. And we thought, well, that's very strange. So we went upstairs to the, to the bridge and found the navigation charts the ship uses didn't have it on. So, um, so at that point, we thought, well, who, who do we trust? Do we trust Google Earth or do we trust the navigation charts? And this is sort of one of those intriguing questions. It wasn't far outside of our, our path. So we decided to actually sail through the island just to see what was there. And lo and behold, there was nothing there. The, the ocean floor actually didn't um, ever get shallower than 1,300 meters below the, below the wave base. So um, there's this island in the middle of nowhere that doesn't actually exist. Understandably, the captain of the ship um, was very nervous sailing today. He was extremely cautious because he could see on his navigation charts it didn't exist. But on his weather map, it was there. So... Um, he, he had all the people on, on board bridge making sure that there that genuinely wasn't an island there. And he was very, he, he put all the safety stops in place to make sure that we didn't run aground. But we are going to actually try and follow up on this. We, we started finding out where these coastline maps come from. And as I mentioned, there's something known as the World Sector Coastline Database. But it has, one, as one of its sources, uh, the CIA in America. And uh, so we have no idea where this mystery island has appeared from, but it, it could actually just be a sort of cartographic error all the way back to um, uh, the CIA in, in the US. So that sort of raises all sorts of uh, conspiracy theory ideas and definitely a source of amusement on the, on the ship. And we'll be following up on that as soon as we can. It wasn't an objective of our scientific voyage. It's one of those really... Uh, sort of happy circumstances. One of the things that happens in science, you, you, you come across a, uh, something that no one's ever noticed before and you just happen to be the right people in the right place at the right time. And so um, it's quite a thrill. At the end of the day, both the captain and ourselves, the scientific team, um, can say that we have changed the world and that's a bit of a buzz really.